Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to showcase some tips how to optimize your Google Shopping ads. So uh, what are Google Ads shopping ads? Um, so when a customer searches for a specific product, their intention is to look for a specific product, for example, uh, some Nike Air. Uh, when they search that, Google understands that they're searching for a specific product and if the advertiser runs product ads, you can see them right here. So this is what we're actually talking about right now. This video is a quick tip video, so I'm not going to show you how to set up the account. We'll do this in a different video. What I'm going to show you is how to optimize it if you have a fresh account or you haven't optimized at all. And I'm going to give you some quick tips within two or three minutes. So uh, let's go to the account right now. And this is example account. Uh, and I'm going to go to my uh, actual account itself. And one second. So now I'm in the actual shopping account created one and I'm going to go to ad groups right now and I'm going to look at my ad group. So this is my data. I have my time frame um, and I have some kind of conversions, right? I have a certain amount of clicks and impressions and sales and cost per conversion, all this stuff, right? So I know it costs me $14 per sale uh, and my value is this. So for example, I sold, I, I spent $700 and I sold 2000, right? So typically when you set up an account, you go into the ad group and then you go to the product group section. Um, and on a new account, it's going to look like this. So basically every single product you're selling, it's going to be grouped into one row. And uh, it's, it's really not a good idea to do marketing decisions and ad adjustments if you only have one row. You don't have a breakdown. You don't know which products are doing well, which are not. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hover over. This is the first tip. Hover over the section uh, and you're going to have a plus sign. Now, the reason I have a pen sign to edit is because I've already done it in this campaign. You're going to have a plus sign. So it would look something like this. If you hover, you'd have a plus sign. If you've already edited, you do that. So what you're going to do is you're going, instead of showing the average of all products, all clicks, all everything, you're going to go ahead and edit this, right? Or add a subdivision. So when you go here, you're going to have these categories at the top. And so... In general, what you want to do is you want to start dividing and adding more rows to the page we were before on more things. So you can kind of segment out, you can figure out what's working, what's not. So I'll go through these really quickly and explain. So category, these are, these are the categories typically uh, when you make the feed and you submit the data, this is the categories on your site. Um, the product type, this is going to be the categories that you submit to Google, the set categories that Google Shopping uh, understands, okay? Uh, brand, if you have brands, you'll have the output. Uh, item ID is really the SKU or the product name, depending on how you submitted the feed. Um, condition, you know, new, used, etc. Product type, we talk, and channel, if you have something like this. Now, this specific example, we've submitted from Shopify, and, uh, you know, we've organized it in a certain way, but other sites, other platforms will actually submit in a different way. Uh, and the last one, which is something really good, is when you create your feed, you can add custom labels on top of your products and you can uh, you can actually you know segment them out in different ways and organize them. Now, in this case, we don't have this, but this is a really powerful tool, which I think in future we'll get to. So for let's say, for example, I want to take brands and I want to start segmenting that of the brands. So here you can see how many products in your feed actually are here. So for example, I want to, instead of seeing everything in one row, I want to segment them by the most popular brands. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on, you know what, let's add more. Okay, let's do a few more and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now what that did is it took all the products, instead of having everything in one row, now it's, it actually expanded it to a lot of other things right here. So now if I look at the data, Right, so my cost per conversion is fourteen dollars. I sold two thousand. I spent seven hundred. Great. So now, if I start looking at the details, I'm going to see, for example, and I like to easily go here to cost per conversion, and you'll see here. Uh, let's let's find a good example. Let's let's just say this. So there's a brand called Bandino, and it cost me actually twenty dollars per sale, and actually my cost. I've spent twenty dollars, and I've I've only sold excuse me, I've uh, spent $20 and I have actually sold only $12. So actually I lost money on this. So now I can decide uh, a few things. So one is I can actually decide if I want to change the bidding, right? So I want to exclude the bidding here. I can do this. 
Okay, so I want to exclude it, right? Or obviously, you know, so so the exclude itself. Now I can go and I can actually pause the uh, the ads for this, and then I can actually decide. Maybe I want to run another campaign or another ad group, and I want to bid it differently, right? So I'd go here, I'd create another, you know, I'd go back here, go back here, create another ad group, and then I'd use it in a different way, right? Or if I want to exclude it, if it's really losing money, I don't want to use it at all. So here you can turn on and off. Uh, rows to actually optimize. So if I turn this off, my average cost per uh, conversion, assuming I continue the same way, will be better because I'm pausing things. So let's go to a few more. Now I went here. Okay, here. So what you can also do is you can take each one of these rows you just created and you can subdivide them into even more. So let's say I have a lot of clicks on Hadley Roma, right? I have a lot of, you know, impressions. You know, let's take one that has good amount of clicks. So Seiko, let's say, right? And I can go and I can divide it further. And I can divide it, for example, into, uh, let's say, category. Okay. So I can divide it. Let's say I want to divide it into these two, right? So now you can really start looking at the data in a better way. Okay. So I'm going to go here, all products, and I have mine, right? So Seiko, and now I've divided it here. Um, so what else do we have? So another really important thing is um, when you make these decisions, when you start dividing and looking at the data in more detail, you want to make sure that you have a good enough time frame, that you have enough clicks and impressions to make a decision. So for example, if you only have four clicks and there were no orders, it doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing, right? So um, you really need to give it some time, let it gather data, you know, do this as quick as possible, add these product groups, these subdivisions, and then start looking at data. And I would I recommend pausing things that are obvious that are not working. Now, once you do that as a marketer, as an ad campaign, you also want to look at why are these not, not selling well. So you just you don't want to just not, you know, pause them and move forward. Um, what you want to do is pause, look at it, look at your pricing, look at the business owner, the competition, the et cetera, et cetera, right? Do these pages have enough products? Uh, what's going on? So now we're going to go to the next step, right? So products. Now I want to look at all the products that are actually, uh, I can look at the same detail, right? Row by row per product. And if I find issues, I can exclude them, right? So you're going to go one by one, you know, going to look at this stuff. So how do I exclude it? I would find the products that are relevant. For example, the IDs I don't like, maybe I don't like this one. I go back to the product groups and I'd go and I'd make some kind of subdivision, for example, here. And I'd go to item ID and I would actually find that one here, right? And go here. So click. I do this. For example, I'd add a subdivision, just for example, and I can exclude it, right? So you can kind of play, you can understand kind of these things. Now you don't want to do it in all, you want to do it in a subdivision of something else, but I think you understand the concept. Okay, so products, this is another way. Just go one by one, figure out what's working, what's not working. Okay, um, so next one, what else do we have? We have devices. So now you can look at the division between your actual devices, mobile, laptop, computer, and tablet, right? So three things. And what you can do is if you see that something is not doing well, you have a few options, right? So first of all, let's say I have here my mobile, so my cost per conversion on let's say on computers on desktop is a little bit higher. So I'm actually having a higher, uh, a better value on my mobile. So my mobile, I can make some bid adjustments. So I can click here and I might say, you know what? I want to increase it. I'm doing better or worse. I want to increase it by 10%, the cost per click. So whatever the cost per click is in the settings of the actual ad groups and product groups, you're going to actually change that. Now, let's say, for example, my mobile really sucks. And I don't want to write, run any mobile uh, campaigns anymore. I'm actually going to decrease it. And I'll just decrease it by 100%. Okay. Um, and so you can play with these things. So decrease by 100% means I'm not going to show ads. And then I can, you know, increase or decrease based on what is working and what is not working. Um, so th these are kind of the tips. These are the things I look at very regularly, uh, multiple times a week for sure. Uh, optimize gather data, and uh, that's it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be making more Google Shopping videos, Google Ad Optimization videos, uh, and happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, looking forward.